Is it true that symptoms of hyperparathyroidism can come and go? I'm Dr. Bob Akmaria. Actually, it is true. So when you have a normal parathyroid environment, the relationship between calcium and PTH follows this inverse curve. So when the calcium goes higher, the PTH lower. When the calcium is lower, the PTH is higher, right? If someone develops hyperparathyroidism, it's because of a mutation that causes that one cell to have a new curve. And that new curve is set for a higher number, right? In this case, 11. Right? And as slowly the abnormal cells are increasing and hijacking the system. And as this is happening, sometimes the calcium is higher, sometimes it's lower, sometimes the PTH is higher, sometimes lower. And the calcium being higher gives you one set of symptoms and PTH being higher gives you another set of symptoms. So you can have up and down symptoms early on in the disease and they become more permanent as the disease goes on. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information and what to do next, visit us at parathyroid.net.